the hell did those bandits snag you, anyway? Well, I was taking a leak. One of them knocked me out. Wow, you are a dumbass. Yeah, I, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Total dumbass. I was joking, dude. I'm happy to see you. Oh. Uh, thanks. This is where you say you're happy to see me, too? Oh, uh, right. I, uh... It's good to see you. <laughs> Smooth. Handsome Jack is gonna kill us all unless you can stop him. He means hi. That's his way of saying hi. Right. Sorry. Hi. Look, I'll be honest, soldier. We're losing this war. We've been trying to stop Jack for years, taking out his men, raiding his iridium mines, but it hasn't been enough. But you, you met Jack and lived. You fought off the Rippers and the Bloodshots. Saved my ass and Lilith's. Thanks, by the way. If we're gonna survive this, we need your help, Vault Hunter. Now, we thought Jack wanted to open a vault and use its power to wipe us off Pandora, but thanks to some intel I stole from a Hyperion convoy, I found out we were wrong. What? He's not gonna open a vault. He's going to control it. I'll just go ahead and repeat myself. What? The vault Jack's looking for isn't an alien prison or a cache of weapons. It's a living thing. An ancient Iridian warrior, powerful enough to destroy all life on Pandora. Whoever awakens it, gets to control it. That sounds bad. If Jack wakes the warrior, yeah. But if we control the warrior first... We could use it to wipe Hyperion off the map. Alright, I'm liking this plan. There's a problem. We need the vault key to wake the warrior and Jack's already got it. But if you've spoken to Tannis... She didn't vomit when she saw you, did she? She does that sometimes. She might have told you the key needs to be charged with Iridium. We're racing against time. Every ounce of that stuff that Jack mines from the ground puts him closer to taking control of that warrior and wiping us out. We gotta get our hands on that vault key. Now, if anybody knows where that key's being kept, it's my spy out in Tundra Express. He's as good at gathering intel as he is at drinking. So I'm sure he's sleeping off last night's booze right now. You'll need to get a fire weapon to wake him up. I'll explain when you get out there. If you don't have a fire weapon, hey, Marcus I got a myself. job for you. So I kind of inspired a cult, and not the fun ask you for autographs kind. I need you to infiltrate the children of the Firehawk and find out if they're planning anything shady. I do it myself, but I'm kind of worried they'd freak out if they saw their god in person. Go talk to the cult's leader, Incinerator Clayton. I'm very sorry to say I need your assistance. A group of mutant test subjects escaped the Hyperion Preserve. As amusing as it might be to see them attempt to reintegrate into society, they must be put down. You will need a way to lure them out. Head to Moxie's and acquire some bait I have ordered. Should've never tried my out. Lieutenant Grim Space Helicopter's reporting for duty with way to adventure! The escapees, for whatever reason, find pizza irresistible. You will lure them out with this pizza, then murder them. Hello, mercenary person. I have money and a problem. Have you heard of these insect things called varkids? Allegedly, the buggers, that's a pun, you see, will morph if they take enough damage. Could you take this evolutionary injector, please? Lovely. I'd like you to force a few Varkids into morphing. While they're in their cocoon state, hit them with the injector. Ever faked your own death? Tricky stuff. 
Did that a couple years back to throw Hyperion off my trail, but apparently some bandit's been spying on me. He's gonna tell Hyperion what he knows, unless you take him out first. to listen to your footage before payment can be processed. Leave the echoes in the attached dead drop locations. Find those echoes, killer. If Hyperion finds out I'm alive and working with the Crimson Raiders, it could be New Haven all over again. I don't know what's going to be. I like this place. Hyperion shouldn't be able to find you here. Thanks. I tried to make it very... Gruesome? I was gonna say cozy. You've strapped charred bandit corpses around the entrance. Corpses can be cozy? Kinda like our place in New Haven before... Um... Yeah, I'm going now. <sighs> Suave, Lilith.
So what's the emergency? I liquefied a guy. Come again? I was out hunting, and I found some of that iridium stuff, and one of those weird worshipper guys sees me, and I chase him down and grab him, and he just... Liquefied? It was awesome. I don't know if it's because of the vault opening or being a siren or both, but this iridium stuff is the tense. You look really pale. Yeah, I passed out a few times, but this could be huge. Okay, but why not just send an echo? Why call me out here and increase the risk of Hyperion finding out you're still working with the Crimson Raiders? Uh, uh um, because you, how, how are you doing? Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave now. Okay. Jack just left them for dead in the snow, evidently. The raiders could use the help. You should track them down. Another vault hunter, huh? I'll see if I can contact him by echo on my way back to Sanctuary. Good. You can go now. Well, I'm sorry. I, I just got here. I'm a little busy waging a one-woman war on every bandit in the tundra, so you can focus on taking down Jack. But hey, if you want to hang out, I can just give up this Firehawk thing and let the bloodshots overrun Sanctuary. Uh, no, no, uh, no you're, you're right. Of course. Are you sure? I could make Coco. We could talk about boys. I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just talk to you once I find the Vault Hunter. Yeah. I'm sorry for... Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Play hard to get. That's how you do it. Huh! I am Incinerator Clayton, and you. I witnessed you enter the lair of the Firehawk and return unharmed. If you truly wish to serve our mother, you must pass a test. Use a fire weapon to send my brothers to the Eternal Flame! Then collect their ashes and return them to me. Huh. Burning people alive is mildly shady, but these cultists sound like they want it. Which is weird. Do what he asks, I guess. Just leave! Just leave!
These children now know an ecstasy I can only dream of! Thank you, Torch. Return to me for further trials. Sounds like you're in. Let me- Unfortunate news, Torch. There are idolaters among us. Children who have betrayed their one true mother, the Firehawk. They follow a heathen demigod known as Scorch. I implore you, destroy this pretender and all those who follow him. Who cares if they worship somebody else? Look, just play along. Clayton needs to trust you completely. If they've been doing anything that we need to stop, that's the only way you'll hear about it. and that Scorch guy. Maybe we should just leave him alone. The enkindling is almost upon us, Torch! But the Firehawk spoke to me in a dream and demanded another sacrifice. No, I didn't. The burning of her favorite son, the midget known as Magstick. You must take him to the Soaring Dragon in the Southern Shelf. Incinerate him within the jaws of the great mechanical beast who dwells there. I want to see the pain! I want to be with the fire! Maxstick is our most devoted brother. He's immolated more than a hundred people for the firehawk. With nothing more than an incendiary pistol and the strength of his belief. A hundred people? Okay, that's impressive. I mean, they were probably just other members of the cult, right? Right? one another for giggles, maybe we don't have to worry about them. That'd be nice. He is coming! The time is almost at hand! We will be together, Firehawk! Finally, we'll be together! Get to the incinerator console and give him what he wants, I guess. I feel your embrace, Firehawk! I love you! I love you so much! Kinda weird. Thank you, Torch. We shall join Max Stick soon. The Enkindling approaches. The what now? It is time for the Enkindling, young Torch. Time to sacrifice heathens to our blazing mother. Wait, 
he said the enkindling? That could be very bad. Or it could be like a cookout or something. Just keep an open mind about it, you know? These guys aren't so bad. So well, Torch. Once the enkindling is complete, we shall all receive our reward in the Firehawk's toasty bosom. <gasps> the preparations are complete! Return to me and let the human sacrifice commence! Okay, that sounds pretty evil. Just head to this enkindling thing. If things get creepy, I'll make an appearance. Be careful. You have done so well, Torch. <clears throat> now, pull Give me that your damn and work. commence the enkindling! <laughs> Prepping corpse to stop. <laughs> Huh. <clears throat> 
what few wits you have about you. These mutants are not to be trifled with. Cut them no slack. them they will let you in Now known to me. Time to go to work. Huh! 
I move for the kill. I win. Excellent. Oh. Return to me. I have a large pile of blood money with your name on it. You might assume this to be a metaphor. You would be incorrect. An illusion fools you all. I know you wait for ya.